Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we were going on a chicken hunt of some sort. Uh, what the, what? But what's going on here? Uh, because the camera is so close to the wall, it's trying to call things that is... That it thinks is behind the wall, I guess? Huh. But yeah, we're going on a chicken hunt. In every level, there are five chickens that we need to find, and... I would have gone looking for them sooner, but I was unable to even locate them until I was told to locate them. So we're going through each of these levels once again, in the hopes of finding them all. Okay, yeah, this is where I want to be. So... Here, chick, 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 chick. Anybody's guess where any of them can be? I suppose a good thing is that these levels aren't really too big, so... Shouldn't take too long to find them. Is there a secret behind this waterfall? No, there's a secret under it. Okay, so that's two down. Where's the remaining three? There's probably gonna be some inside the buildings, if I had to guess. You know what would be helpful? If the chicks made a noise, kind of like the gingers do in Banjo-Kazooie. That way you know whether you're getting near one of them. I wonder if I can spot any from here. Not over there. I don't see one down at the tightrope area. I don't think there's any down there. I'm gonna assume not. Don't see one down there. There's definitely not one at the tightrope section. At this point, I think I just about explored the entirety of the temple, so... I'm gonna say that there are no chicks inside the temple. Back here? Yep, back here. That's three. Two more to go. Oh! Well, that's a sneaky place for one. I like that. Alright. Cool. Nope, none in there. The unfortunate thing is, I'm making the first playthrough of this game. So I can't exactly go look up where the last chick is. I probably can't hop up here. Oh, I can. Am I supposed to be able to hop up here? I feel like I'm not supposed to be able to hop up here. But, sure. Let's kind of keep going here and see if I can find anything. Well, I'm not making it any further than here. And the chick is not here. Purposely disallowing me from jumping over these ledges. Except for that one.
I can see why they don't necessarily want me getting over here. The camera is reacting to being near the inside of these temples. And it also doesn't very much like me being right here. Well, anything down here? Uh, where's the edge? Uh, that that the platform. Well, I don't think there was anything on the edge. You know what would be really dumb? If the chick was actually in the arcade game. I mean, that would be deviously clever. Nah, they're not going to make you replay through the entirety of this. Maddie says, this game seems to be aiming to emulate rare games, so it's possible. Rare were dicks. May I remind you of health pickups they purposely put in some of their games in places you'd never be able to get to. The main one was a piece of chocolate in Conqueror's Bad Fur Day put in a place he had no way of getting into, and it was stated they put it there to mess with players. That sounds familiar. I might have seen that before. So, I'm not yet willing to consider this a possibility, but what if they forgot to add it? That would be incredibly lame. Considering you need to find every golden carrot in order to beat the game, though, surely they wouldn't miss something like that. Let me double check my stats here. Yeah, I am missing that one car carrot on the ledge in Radiant Rabbits, and finding the chicks is the only way I can figure to reach it. Though I'm not entirely sure what the connection would be. Found the one there. It is interesting that this level has an underwater theme. Considering under normal circumstances, you can't actually go underwater in this level. Yeah, this is about how I feel right now. Can I, like, jump into the trees? I mean, hypothetically, yeah, I should be able to land in this tree. But it doesn't actually seem like there's any... Yeah, there we go. No chicken here. Kind of think of it, this is an issue that a lot of collectathons have. Even the best ones. Where you're missing that one MacGuffin... And you can't seem to find it anywhere. Not there. Whenever I find that last chick, I'm going to feel really stupid. Either that or really relieved and annoyed at the same time. Frustrated. Actually, I don't, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to feel whenever I finally find it. Exhausted? Before says, I wonder if they just did this to pad out the playtime. That's certainly how it feels. The fact that you couldn't even find these chicks until you were told to find them. I mean, no matter what, you're at least revisiting one level. That you already finished exploring. I'm not entirely sure when this quest became available. I didn't notice it until pretty much the very end. There's an open door up there it looks like. Was there any way up there? I don't remember ever being there. Wait, 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 wait. I remember being up there. How did I get up there? 
That's an exit from another level. How did I get up there? I can't remember. I wonder if there's, like, any hints that I can be given. Seriously? We gathered up the kids, didn't you? Thank you so much. Here, this is Carrot. Coming! Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Do you get a carrot for... Wait, what? I was at 79. Suddenly I got 83. Is that counting towards any totals? Okay, so apparently bringing back a certain amount of chicks... Gives you a certain amount of carrots. What that amount is, don't know, but hey, good news, this means that you actually don't need to co collect all the carrots in order to reach the final battle. You gotta buffer by finding the chicks. Again, would be nice if you could start looking for them before you're told to look for them. But, good news. Well, that just brings into question, how do I get to the carrot up there, if they're not leading to the carrot up there? No, I was at 69 carrots. So how many chicks have I found? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... So you get a golden carrot for every chick you find. Huh. Alright then. That's cool. Uh, BFR says, One of the strengths of a collectathon platformer is that y if you are stuck on certain challenges, you can just do other ones in order to get enough thingies to progress. And 100% is only needed for maybe a little bonus. That's one where, one area where I think Mario Sunshine falls short because it requires you to do the first seven episodes in each level. No exceptions, which means every blue coin and extra shine you find is only useful for getting 100%. Yeah, uh, Mario Sunshine is definitely the perfect example of a game where... You really need the ability to skip certain challenges to beat the game if you want, because Mario Sunshine has some awful challenges in it. It's too bad some of the challenges that are awful are actually kind of required. Not all of them, thankfully, but some of them. Um. Oh, I need to locate you by coming in from the other direction. So... I need to find some way to get in fall is fall, or rather fall on fall, and I don't remember where the secret exit to get to that platform in there is located. So I'm just going to go through these levels in order and eventually I'll stumble across the secret entrance. Is there any chicks hiding in here? Now, so far, I get the feeling that there are no chicks hiding inside buildings. Um, oh, here. So, a chick by the spring leading up to the cliffside. Not there. Ah, here we go. A chick sitting in this chair. That's two down. Alright, so there's that one. This will teleport me where I want to go. Cool. Uh, guess we'll check in here first. Wait, I missed some coins in this level? Gosh dang it. Is there seriously no chick in this cave? Uh, 
Well, at the very least, I'm glad I managed to find those coins. So beer force says, I'm not feeling so hot. Got my booster shot today. At least if it makes me sick, I can take tomorrow off with pay. That is certainly one way to get money. Being sick. Certainly not an ideal way. But whatever works. Even if it's not intentional. Also, hooray for booster shots. At the same time, boo booster shots. Because shots are not fun, but... They be important. Okay. So now we know that there are, in fact, chicks hidden inside buildings. I don't think the next chick will be up there, so I won't go further looking that way. Although, if it's not up there, where would it be? Oh, I know. Where is the other entrance here? Well... First things first, let's see, that's an invisible wall, so not dropping off that side. But there's a cave right down here. I bet you the chick's hanging around in here somewhere. There it is! I saw the chicks in this level. It is interesting how the entrance to that building is so dark that th there's not even a blue filter covering it. It's like the entrance is underwater. Wonder how that works. Is there some sort of special layering to make the entrance dark and that layering takes priority even beneath the water? Well, I'm going to say so, because I just saw the box that is the dark exit here. Okay, before I go looking elsewhere for more chicks, I'm heading back to the city. So, I had a lot of trouble finding the shop in this level. It's like, where is that shop? Certainly, there's got to be a souvenir shop somewhere in this level. Well, it turns out this is the shop. It looks vastly different than any other shop in this le in other levels, so I assume that this shop was just scenery. But no, this is the shop. Labor's tie, a tie to wear on the head. Why the head? That's a good question. Labor's suit, a suit to wear to work. It's heavy in many ways. Labor's shoes, be polite even to the feet. The feet hurt when wear these. So should I not wear those? Outdoor unit, outdoor unit of an air conditioner. It is responsible for dissipating heat. That would be nice to have, especially being covered in fur. Fire hydrant, used to extinguish a Fire, safe to have near the house. I wonder. Music, Mad Metropolis. You can play the music of Mad Metropolis at home. Let's listen to it at Ravi's house. Okay. Let's get changed. And I guess this will be our outfit for finding more chicks. We are legitimately wearing the tie on the head. That's kind of funny. And there's our suit. And shoes. Not the most comfortable shoes to go platforming in. But it completes the look. Whatever whatever that look might be. Okay, as hard as it was to find this shop, I think it's actually kind of clever that the shop actually looks appropriate for this level. B4 says, that tie is so silly, I got a genuine smile from it. It is, it is definitely a good look. Uh, teleport, teleport, where's the nearest teleport? 
I have a hunch. Can I? And that's how we get to the carrot. Okay. I will admit, needing one of the souvenirs in order to get the final carrot is actually kind of clever. Well, we got all the souvenirs. Let's take a look at them all. We got the crystal. We got num. We got the lantern. We got the totem pole. Here's our air conditioning, so our house is going to be nice and cool now. On top of our bed, we got a few accessories. A temple. Or is it an idol? Bottle of sand, lighthouse, a minecart. The, the log from the beaver race. Was the clock one of the accessories? Also a picture. This picture is the same as the picture hidden up there in the Easter Egg alcove. That kind of lessens the importance of the Easter Egg. And of course we bought all the soundtracks, but there's still two more. Not sure where you get those. Maybe in the final boss's lair? Okay, where is the cave level? Up there. Let's go looking in the cave now. That is not the spring. 